Jalen Brunson yeah, for MVP talks? I think so. I think so. Yeah, I think de- I think he definitely is warranting that kind of those conversations. Julius Randle's been out, and he, he got he'll be out for a while with that the separated shoulder, which is going to be a little bit tricky um, because they have to let the the ligaments heal, so it'll, it'll take time. It's not simple just popping his shoulder back in. And in spite of his injury, in spite of him being out, Jalen Brunson's picking up the slack, and they're winning games regardless. They won tonight. They won the night before. <laughs> they won since he's they've won every game since he's been out. They're on a nine game winning streak, I think it is now. Um, they're playing great basketball, and just because of Jalen Brunson, he's the head head of that snake, and he makes that engine go for them. And and he's been phenomenal all year. He should have been an All Star starter. He was robbed. Damian Lillard did not deserve to be an All Star starter. I will I will die on that hill. Um, what a joke that that that's where we where things ended up. Um, but he deserved to be a starter, and he's gonna get to the MVP conversation because he's gonna have this team playing great basketball. And as the team like the Sixers fall because of the injury. Um, they're going to rise. They're going to rise into a top three seed if they're not already a top three seed. I think they were top four last time I checked. So it's going to be interesting to see them rise. And as they rise and as he continues to play well and stack good performance on good performance, now you got 40 points beat the Indiana Pacers with Halliburton out there. You're, you're going to start to hear more and more noise about him being in the MVP conversation, being an MVP dark horse. So absolutely. he He's a phenomenal player. He's a superstar. I, I, I'm there. I, I, told, I told some of my next friend buddies uh, from that I've been known for a long time. I told him the same thing. He is a he is a, a guy who's a superstar. We can classify him that way for sure. So yes, yes. Yeah, they're the number three seed right now. Thirty two and seventeen, nine game winning streak, nine and one over the last ten games. I like what I see from the Knicks. This oh. is probably the best that they've ever been, and I think low key, like we mentioned, because the East is wide open. I don't know if they're beating any teams in the West, but yeah. this is probably one. This is like that year where they made it to the final, where it was the lockout year. I think this is the type of year again because the East is so wide open. I don't trust Boston. Milwaukee, we already know they are not to be trusted, especially since they hired Doc Rivers, who they're 0 2 since Doc mm-hmm. has came over and he has mm-hmm. already started the throwing the players under the bus. Doc ain't going to take no responsibility. They lose the last game. What does he do? I expected Dame to be more aggressive. Blaming the players again. <laughs> oh, boy. We already saw oh, what he boy. did to Ben in his confidence. Hey, Bucks is stuck with him, too, because you're not. Mm-hmm. You can't fire him now, too, and try to get another coach. That's going to be no. – That's no. more money just out the window. Yep. yep. So I like I like the Knicks this year. I like what I'm seeing from them. 